Hey, I'm Austin Proc, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick and easy turkey that your family's gonna love here on Thanksgiving coming up. So uh, I have my turkey up to room temperature. You don't wanna start with a cold turkey. And I have some uh, pre-sliced butter that I did, some onion, and then I made this uh, thyme and rosemary butter that we're actually gonna rub down on the turkey and then a uh, array of seasonings that I'll go through as I uh, start seasoning the meat. So um, what we're gonna do first with this sliced butter is we're gonna get it up underneath the skin. So as it cooks, it's melting and keeping all of your uh, breast meat and uh, leg meat moist as the cook turkey's cooking. So um, <clears throat> doesn't really matter where you put this uh, as long as you just get it up underneath the skin. And sometimes the skin's a little stuck to the breast meat itself. So you just kind of have to pull it off and then once you get started, you can run your finger along it and uh, it comes up pretty easy. All right, so I've got my uh, two sticks of butter sliced up and stuffed underneath the skin um, all the way around the turkey. And then I have a large onion uh, that I sliced up pretty big. Um, I'm gonna shove that inside the turkey and then, uh, and then after that, I'm gonna rub it down with that rosemary and thyme butter. All right, I've got my uh, turkey all patted dry. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it, uh, rub that in, and then start seasoning the meat. This olive oil is gonna just give it a nice tan while it's in the oven. Keep her brown. We've got some uh, granulated garlic, lemon pepper. I'm using black truffle salt. You can use uh, regular kosher salt, that's fine. Uh, this was on sale the other day, so I just picked up a couple bottles of it because it's really awesome. I have these uh, last few bits of uh, the herb butter that we made up, and I'm just gonna break this up on top of the turkey um, and just kind of let it melt along the skin as it's going in the oven. We have the turkey all seasoned up, uh, butter's on top of it. I did throw a few, um, sprigs of thyme and rosemary in there along with the onion and uh, put a little bit of garlic paste on top but uh, it was kind of a messy job and I figured you guys didn't really want to see it anyways. So I have my oven at 350. I'm going to throw it in there. It should be like 15 minutes per pound. This is I think a 15 pound turkey so it's going to be like three and a half, four hours. Um, I'm going to bring it up to 160. Turkey's finished at 165 so I'll probably pull it 155, 160 pull it out, let it rest for about 30 minutes, and then we can all dig in and it's gonna be awesome. All right, next I'm gonna make some uh, cranberry relish. This is actually my grandmother's recipe, and you can't do Thanksgiving without uh, cranberry relish, at least in my family. So we're gonna blend all of these items separately because each one you want like a little bit of a different texture. So we're gonna start with uh, cranberries. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make like a very traditional stuffing. Um, I've got some croutons here. You can buy them from the store. I made my own uh, just because I forgot to buy them at the store. Uh, I've got a little bit of milk here. You just wanna drizzle it on uh, your dried bread. You don't wanna soak it and you probably wanna get it in the bowl better than I did. Um, and just kinda, just so they, you don't want them like mushy by any means. Um, you just kind of want them damp. Just toss them around a little bit, and then I have some uh, minced garlic, chicken stock, onion, thyme, and butter. Oops. 
Dikit-dikit. 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 Dikit-dikit.